This question is about circular motion and gravitation, and specifically its gravitational field strength. So let's take a look at this question here. Now they gave you this diagram. So we've got the Earth and the Moon, and there is this sort of gravitational cosmic dance. That's why I thought that picture was cute. Uh, and they tell you something. They tell you that there's some point P, and they tell you something special. They say the gravitational field strength at P is zero. And they say, what's the ratio of the mass of the moon over the mass of the Earth? Given that the distance you know, from the center of the Earth to P is called X, and the distance from the center of the Earth to the center of the moon is called D. This is one of those questions that looks totally impossible, especially if you look at the choices uh, for the answers. Like, uh, but the trick is to not panic and to just use some clues now. They're telling you something about gravity here. We know something, we want something about the masses. We want the mass of the moon over the mass of the earth. Uh, by the way, if you wanted, you could rewrite it. I don't feel like writing moon all the time, so I'm going to say M with a little subscript M is going to be moon over M E for Earth. So hopefully that'll be okay. I want this. Now they told us this hint, the gravitational field strength is zero. So if you don't know how else to solve it, maybe go find yourself an equation for gravitational field strength. If you look it up in your data booklet, you should be able to find an equation that goes like this. E G equals F over M. By the way, that's the gravitational field strength. It's called G. Remember, it's also the acceleration due to gravity. So it's equal to F over M. And if you do F, F is GMM over R squared. So you divide by M. So you end up with a capital GM over R squared. So this is the thing we're going to use. Okay, we're going to need to know this. Maybe I'll put it like this. Also. So in general, then, if we're ever needing it, it's just going to be G equals capital G. Remember, that's a constant times capital M, the mass of uh, whatever you're looking at, over the distance squared. This is what we're going to be using. But because we know the gravitational field strength at P equals zero, what that tells you is this. At this location, maybe I'll do it in green. At this location right here, we've got this gravitational field strength, you know, and they're going to be going in opposite directions here. We're going to have uh, well, it turns out the gravitational field strength goes with the force. So this will be a G Earth, and this here will be G Moon. And we know that G Earth and G Moon are going to cancel each other out. We know that. So because we know that, then what we can do, we can state then, we can find, well, what's G E? Because we know that that's going to equal G M. Right? Because we know that the strength is zero, we know that you know, in this direction right here, of course, they're going to be opposite directions. So I suppose you can always ascribe a negative or a positive sign to them, but we're just going to keep the, the, the positive versions, if anything. Um, we've got the gravitational field strength of the moon is this going to be the same as the Earth. Of course, the Earth has more mass, but it's farther away. See that? The moon has less mass, but it's closer. And this is a place where they even out. So uh, this is interesting, actually. In the orbital mechanics, these are called Lagrange points. Ooh. So this right here, uh, GM equals GE. Fine. Let's find GM then. Let's find that. So G of the moon. Well, it would be capital G, this constant of the universe, times M moon over, now, the distance to the moon. How would you define the distance from P to the moon? Remember, we have to find that. So that would be this distance right here to here. What would that be? That distance, let's see. Well, we know the whole thing is D. We know that little piece here is X. So does it make sense that it's D minus X will be this piece right here? This will be D minus X. So it'll be D minus X, all that squared, don't forget. Now, G of Earth is going to be capital G times the mass of the Earth uh, divided by the distance from P to the Earth, which in this case is just called X. So that's great. We have X squared. Now, because we can have them, you know, the two are equal, then we can find, we can say then that G M M over D minus X, all that squared, equals G M Earth over X squared. Notice we haven't really looked at how to solve it. We're just doing some math. And we've got the G's cancel out. And now let's start looking at what we're supposed to be doing now. So now it's maybe a good time to sort of pop your head up and sort of look around and be like, uh, oh yeah, I want the mass of the moon over the mass of the earth. I want MM over ME. Do you notice then I could just take this equation right here then, get the MM by itself, divide by ME. So I have mass of the moon over the mass of the earth. 
Um, and I could take my d minus x squared and put that on the top over here. So that means it comes over here. It goes d minus x squared over x squared. And lo and behold, that is answer A. So you see, so sometimes the questions, they look insane. They look really scary. But the trick is, don't get too scared by it. Just start. Especially on paper two, where you can actually get part marks, right? But in this one right here, it's really important to just get started. See how it goes for you. This is how we solved it. Again, the trick was, even if you didn't know much about them, go hunt for an equation for gravitational field strength. That's what was needed. The rest of it then was just manipulating some equations, right? Now hopefully you find that not so bad.